Hey, hey! So, I am doing like a three-part YouTube series today. I'm filming them all together and it's interesting. I don't usually do it this way, but I was trying to make my videos a little shorter so you can kind of watch what you want and ignore the rest. So, so you know what I've done so far. Um, I have the No Porblum Prime Essence by Touch and Soul. The Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. The lid isn't on right. There it is. Um, and the Jouer, Co Jouer Cosmetics Essential. You can't read it. High Coverage Concealer Pen. And on my eyes, I have the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette and a couple. I tried some new stuff today. This is from Love You To Cosmetics. You can check her out on Instagram. I will drop a link in the description. I also did a video about, I'm trying to put that down. Um, prepping my face. Um, I used some Peter Thomas Roth and Beauty Pie today. I will drop a link for those two um and i don't know what else they use but that should get us most of the way so in this video oh and i also use the urban decay brow beater for my brows today um yeah i'm back in the browser filled as manny mua would say so i wanted to show you guys um three new products that I got recently that I think you will like. Um, first off is the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Blush and She's Sincere. Next up is the Hourglass Gold Flash. This is the Vanish Highlighting Stick. And this is apparently a cult favorite that I knew nothing about, and I really like it. This is the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, Maru, Maru, Maru Butter Bronzer, and this is in shade Bronzer. Really complicated. So I wanted to play with these with you. I'm going to start off with the bronzer. This has the best consistency. Like, it's this, like, creamy texture. I don't know. I'm kind of obsessed. Um, and I probably should use a bigger brush for it, but I'm going to use what I have because apparently I don't have a big brush over here. It is a powder, but it's got a real creamy consistency. It smells literally like the beach. Like it's making me want to go back to Florida. <laughs> um, and this is why I should have used the bigger brush, but I'm just going to play with it a little bit. I'm not like trying to go crazy. Um, usually I contour more than I am today, but I'm lazy, so we're not going to do it today. Oh, well. So I'm just trying to get some color back in my face. Maybe give myself a cheekbone. And that, that didn't quite work. Really? Yep, we'll be blending that momentarily. <sighs> so, I don't know that I would recommend using this as your contour, but I mean, whatever. It won't hurt if you do, but don't go heavy handed like I just did, because I'll see what happens. So I did my eyeshadow first today because I used glitter, as you can see, and I have glitter everywhere in here. So I'm going to have to like clean my whole office to recover from the glitter sitch, but it's okay. So I'm also prepping this week for a giveaway. Um, I am a doula. I've talked about this a lot on here and um, a product, a company that I have really been a fan of, Good Clean Love. Um, I love it for my clients um, who, yes, they make lubrication. Um, 
So if that offends you, I'm sorry. Um, but they also have just other feminine health products like um, things for your pH and stuff like that. So they just came out with a um, fertility lubricant. And that is a population that I work with a lot, the infertility crowd. So pretty excited to, um, we're doing a giveaway. They're giving away. I'm just hyping them because I happen to like them a lot. Um, so definitely check out my Instagram if you are trying to conceive. It is a really cool product and they're giving away some other stuff with it. So join us so you can get some um it's an alternative to pre-seed if you have been trying to conceive for a while you've probably heard of that so next up we're going to do the patrick ta monochrome moment and this color is pretty light and neutral um but i just really like it plus patrick ta's packaging is life it literally gives me life So I'm just going to put that right above that contour line so I don't look like a ghost because right now I look a little ghosty. I mean, I'm looking better since the bronzer, but whew, it's getting a little serious there. It's funny. I'm like afraid to put blush on my nose. I'm like, no, I just covered it up. Now I'm going to make it look pink again. It's, it's a personal problem, you guys. So finally is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Highlighter. And like this packaging is also awesome. This came in my boxy charm and I actually really like it. Um, it gives a good amount of highlight. So Rudolph the gold nose reindeer. Does that work? Is that a thing? Maybe not. So, as you can see, another thing that will be blended. I'm just going to do a little bit up here. Kind of where you naturally would have some highlight. And I like to do my Cupid's bow. And a little bit on my chin. Do, do, do. You can also do a thin line down here if you're into that. It's just really easy to put on. I'm a fan. I'm going to highlight down the center of my nose a little bit. So we can undo the blush I just put there. You know. You know. So I'm using a fake beauty sponge from Amazon. And I do believe that they're exactly the same, just in case anybody was wondering. I don't think it's worth spending $20. I do have a beauty blender. It's dirty right now, so I didn't want to use it with you guys. <laughs> it's funny, one of my friends was like, you clean your brushes and stuff like way too often. And I'm like, too often? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't like to go on YouTube with dirty tools doesn't really make me look very credible now, does it? I'm not trying to blend this out all the way, but obviously I did put on a lot of product. And I mean, you guys, I'm filming. So obviously I go a little heavier with my products when I'm filming than I do in real life. So you can see them better. Um, so, you know, take that into account when you're doing your own makeup at home. Like, you don't need to <laughs> go that crazy. I'm not a professional. I'm not even trying to be. I mean, I don't know. Maybe one day. But it's not my day job at this point. Blogging is. But I am not a makeup artist at this point. My mom was just telling me I should become one. And I'm like, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Looks like I have like a point on my nose. I'm not really sure how that happened. Okay, so that is the look. 
of those. Um, I will drop links to everything below. And if I have coupon codes, I will share them with you. Be sure to follow my blog. It is www.bloggingaboutbeauty.com. And if you thought this was helpful, be sure to like it below and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time.